Hi, I'm Lloyd from Bumstead Bicycles and I wanted to do a comparison today of some Trek mountain bikes. Trek's entry level line of bikes are called the Marlin and they do a four through seven. And a lot of people ask, what's the difference? So I thought I'd take a few minutes and kind of go over the, the basics of the difference of each bike. So they start, their least expensive is the Marlin four. Um, you do have, um, mountain bike qualities to this. Um, you'll talk to a lot of shops and they, they may not even carry this bike. Um, they, they think it's too entry level, the component package not high enough quality because most of the riders they talk to or ride with are way more advanced and they feel that this bike just wouldn't hold up. I have found in dealing with people and going on rides for many, many years that it is very basic um, entry level. And you've got to know that going in that, and people's description of what they're going to do mountain biking can vary widely. Um, some people just riding on a dirt path, a fire road is mountain biking to them just riding around the neighborhood and jumping off the curb and riding across the grass in a park. That's what they want their mountain bike for. They, they like this, like the person that buys a four wheel drive truck and very rarely goes off road. Um, so again, the Marlin four, it is Shimano components. It does have cable actuated disc brakes. It does have a knobby tire that will go in the dirt. Just know going in that guys that ride much more advanced riding won't consider this to be a great bike. It will, for again, a beginner rider, just getting out there, just bouncing around, having a little bit of fun on some dirt roads and mild trails. Uh, maybe a kid just riding back and forth to school and he wants the look and durability of a mountain bike but he's not doing hard off-road riding, just a good basic bicycle. I'm gonna set this one aside. So then the next step up from that will be the Marlin 5. Let me grab one of those. So the frame on all of these Marlins stays pretty much the same. You're a hydroformed aluminum frame internally routed cables. So going to the Marlin 5 from the Marlin 4, first thing visually you can even tell just by looking at it, I hope the rear derailleur is a step up from Shimano, um, made with more cast aluminum, better pins and bushings. Um, you're gonna have a better quality shifting. It's gonna be a little more precise, especially banging around. It's gonna shift a little better. Then the next thing, the brakes also got, now instead of a cable disc brake, you go to a hydraulic disc brake. The advantage of the hydraulic fluid, it's like power brakes on your car. You're gonna have more stopping power than you would with a cable brake. Less hand pressure to squeeze the brake. So those are the two biggies on this, is that you go to Better quality shifting and better braking. Same frame. Um, I'm not mistaken, you go also a step up in fork. On mountain bikes, the front forks, very important. Especially as you start going faster, going into more severe conditions, hitting ruts. You need a front fork that not only moves up and down properly, but that is stiff and strong enough to um, absorb those impacts. So from the four to the five, better brakes, better rear derailleur. Now let's go to the six and you will see a difference there also. There go. Now the Marlin six here. Again, upgrade and component package. First one being that now you go to a one by system. Instead of having multiple sprockets in the front, only a single sprocket. Again, more gears in the back, wider range, higher quality rear derailleur. So again, 
gonna shift better under more severe conditions. Next step up, still hydraulic brakes, but just another next step up in quality. So again, here you're paying for, <clears throat> again, a step up in components. And last but not least, the Marlin 7. Same thing, you're gonna notice even nicer crank. Again, single, more gears in the back, more advanced rear derailleur. And moving up, now you go to a rock shock front shock. Again, here they're assuming now <clears throat> you're coming down the hills pretty fast. You've been riding for a while. You're, you're gonna be hitting ruts and bumps and stuff at a more extreme speeds. You need a front fork that can, can handle that. So again, wide range, all called Marlin. Which one is best for you depends on your needs. What are you going to do on the bike? Um, again, people that are really into the sport are going to say this is entry level. That the models below it, no, you, you shouldn't even ride one of those. Again, you have to know what are the trails you're going to ride on. How much risk are you taking? How fast do you want to go? How, how big are the bumps? How, how often are you going to ride? It can be a matter of some people ride twice a month. Some people ride twice a week. Again, riding twice a week versus twice a month, the better bike is going to hold up better over time, going to need less adjustments, going to hold up to the beating and the fun slash abuse you're going to give the bike. <laughs> I call it fun. Some people call it abuse. So don't be, you know, you've got to know what you're going to do on the bike to decide on which is the best bike for you. Um, you don't have to spend a lot of money. The important thing, go into a bike shop, get some good information from them. Ask your friends that, you know, say, hey, I'm just starting out, maybe. If maybe you're riding an older bike and you want to upgrade, and so you might lean more towards the six or the seven. Even though your bike was at that level and it's older, the newer technologies are gonna, you're gonna enjoy the one by systems, the, the better hydraulic disc brakes. Your old bike may not even have disc brakes. So again, especially if you've been riding already, you know, okay, I already ride once a week. I know I need something better than a Marlin 4. Um, if you don't even know how much you're gonna ride, a Marlin 4 or 5 might be just fine for you. Anyway, I hope that helps in your decision to get a Trek Marlin. And thanks for watching.